the right leg of Christensen in a high crotch situation, stuffed to the outside of his left hip, looking to shelf that left hip, now trying to jump sides. And now he needs to hook that bottom leg, does so, and he's gonna wanna peek that head out in great technique on. Who is trying to take a shot, he's in on the single leg. And there he gets the takedown as he wraps around both legs and Lewis is in front. Just a little bit ago. And there he does, right on cue, Eric called it, kicks him down to the mat. Great technique from Jackson Lewis as the two go out of bounds, but his second takedown in this first period. The bottom leg now of Jackson Lewis is on the hip of Veeling, so this is close to a takedown. And there he gets the takedown. You are right on it, Eric. Smear check trying to get to his feet and break the hand tie. And gets back to the mat. If I was to tell you right now that he had a broken foot, you would never have known it. Absolutely. Just the way that he's wrestling. Here's a good shot by Jimenez. He lifts up Fleetwood and gets the two points. Very patient work from Johnny Jimenez. Now switches to the head to the outside. Now switches to a double leg. Comes up to his feet and Fleetwood gives up the takedown. Second takedown for Jimenez, working well. <laughs> Out of movement, nothing yet. And there we've got our first takedown in the scramble. Good work from Taylor to wrap up Keener. And another takedown. How quick was that from Ryan Taylor? Wow. Shuck by to an ankle pick. And you don't see that a lot, especially from the tie. Trying to get his hand around that right leg. There he gets the kick and the takedown. And this is where Haran's been locking his hands, but this is very close to a takedown here. This might have. And there he does get the takedown, just keeping that right leg in the mat. And I am glad that I don't have to make that decision. But as I say that, an underhook pass by to a single. And Oliver goes right to the double leg and back in front with the takedown. Also the fact of having to wrestle Luke Smith, who has been dominant for the Chippewas. 26 victories, not easy to accomplish that. But very close to a takedown in this Merkel situation here. And that's how Mike Ottinger's career comes to an end inside McGurk Arena, and he's gonna get a big hand and a standing ovation as well for Ottinger, the fourth senior to pick up the win today. The Chippewas pick up the win as they beat Wisconsin 18 to 11 in a final match at home for Central Michigan in the 2016 season. I thought we wrestled pretty good. You know, I, I felt like um, at a few weight classes, uh, we could have scored a few more points, been a little more aggressive, but um, sometimes the person that you're wrestling has something to do with that. But, but uh, I was happy to get Brent back out there, even though he didn't win. He needed to get back on the mat. We needed to get him back out there trying to get him going for the MAC tournament. So that was that was a real positive. Um, I know he's not happy with the way he wrestled, but um, you know you can't take three weeks off with an injury and then feel like you're going to come back and be the same guy. It takes a little while. So, um, but I felt like for the most part we wrestled pretty good.